Let's talk about Wolfenstein. We talked about B.J. Blazkowicz for a long what time. What a great name for a video game character. I, I know, it's very right unique. Up there with Duke Nukem. But he's also been kind of uh, a, a non-personality. But this time he actually does have a daring dude type of vibe. He's yeah. got a Indiana Jones kind of the aesthetic. The square jaw. Yeah. He shows more intelligence than I think he has in previous iterations of the Wolfenstein. And that really plays well into the way that they've uh, they've expanded the story overall, the storytelling. Yes. Because really what it boils down to is you just shoot at Nazis. What they've done, though, is they've given you kind of a hub in this uh, German town, and you get to deal with a little bit of this French resistance type vibe and talk to black market, you know, weapons dealers and, yeah. and run around and talk to Nazi soldiers and get embroiled in some of the peripheral storylines that are sort of evolving in this city. It's not quite a Grand Theft Auto or anything like that, but it was kind of cool to have this open world environment yes. kind of open up for you a little bit. And actually, as you gain abilities and powers, more of it becomes accessible to you. At first, it feels like a gimmick. Yeah. But then I kind of liked going back Me to the too. hub world. There was something comforting about it. I like going back to visiting, you know, the, the chain smoking, you know, black market dealer down in his basement. Not the best story overall, though. I mean, it's oh, just, the, it's pretty cliched. You hook up with this group that's investigating this paranormal kind of activity that's called the Veil, which is what you get as you pick up this medallion called the Thule Medallion. And I'm getting right into the fiction. And that's one of, one of my big problems with this thing is that it just gives you all of this information and all these different different buzz names, and you're just like, what What the hell? Who you feel they, like it's yeah. too much information. Well, I, yeah, I was shooting you, at Nazis two seconds ago. What's yeah, happening? I mean, you can let that just be white noise and let it bounce yes. off your face. Which and is just get I into the gameplay. Yeah. Just get into the gameplay. And yeah. I think that's the most innovative thing about the game, and it's the subtlest thing about the game, is that they took a tried and true formula, like yeah. a first-person shooter, and somehow it's interesting. We haven't even talked about probably the best part about this game, which is the multiplayer, although it will be overshadowed probably by the next Call of Duty. Oh, absolutely. What they've done is they given Veil powers to the Return to Castle Wolfenstein multiplayer, and that was one of my favorite of the previous Xbox Live oh, experiences that I had. Rave about it, it was amazing. What it seems like Raven did is they looked at a level and they said, is this fun, is this fun, is this fun, is this fun? Totally. Anything that wasn't fun it got chopped out. Yeah. Everything you're doing in this game feels fun. What are you going to give Wolfenstein? I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. 9? You I'm loved shocked. it. Yeah, you I'm loved it. Believe me, I'm Yeah, shocked. I'm yeah. going to give it an 8 out of 10. Okay, it is a, a very little, good game. It's a little low.